You see the title, sis? That's why you're here. We might as well just talk about it. What's going on, you guys? You're just Koi here, and welcome back to The Corner. I know you see the title. You saw the intro. You know why we're here. I'm kind of just going to skip past my throat, sounding disgusting, my absence, you know, because of finals. You feel what I'm saying? And we're just going to get into why we're here, okay? Before, actually, we get there, um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. If this is your first time on The Corner, it definitely shouldn't be because this is not the usual getup. This was actually a very, it took effort. See, had to lean back because y'all know I got a shortcut under here, so don't question my bun. All right, um, as a plus sized woman, I feel like I have an unpopular opinion about this. I also feel like I kind of sort of go with the popular opinion, but for the most part, unpopular. I don't know where you've been if you have not been around or on your phone or internet access of anything like that. You might have missed that Lizzo basically showed literally her ass. Um, at a NBA game recently, I think it was last week, and everybody kind of went into this uproar. Lizzo wore a dress that had like a hole cut out on her ass part. She was wearing a thong. Now, in the beginning, um, I remember from catching it on like Instagram and stuff like that, like Lizzo had been talking about it and like went before, I think the Megatron situation. Before that whole her, you know, showing her behind, there was a whole portion of the video that I saw on her page, I think where she was like walking around with her team and stuff like through the, you know, the way where the players go out to get onto like the court and stuff like that. And she was walking through with the dress on and I remember seeing it and I thought just from how it was like the background that she wasn't actually going to something, she was performing in something. Then when she said this is how bees go to a game or something in Minnesota or something like that, I was like, okay. The reason why it threw me off is because it has nothing to do with body positivity or anything like that. It's literally because it just wasn't appropriate for her to be at a game that way, right? I've been hearing a lot is that people are saying Lizzo did too much. Lizzo is making it look bad for the big plus size girls. Lizzo is trying to force this message of body positivity. And then on the other side of the spectrum, I've also heard it like Lizzo is, you know, rooting up for the big girl. She's standing up for the big girl. She's standing up for any and everybody that wants to do whatever they want with their body. Unpopular opinion, she did too much. I say she did too much for the following reasons. Primarily, it's a stadium where people have to sit, where there are germs, where there are just filth and dirt and everything else. And it's just like, you know, let's just call a spade a spade. At the end of the day, Lizzo's not a cheerleader or she wasn't set to perform that day at the arena. So there really was no honest purpose in her dressing the way that she did to go to a NBA game. She's not dating one of the main players, so there was no thing for her to make it known for herself that she was there. She could have simply just been another celebrity that was going to another another game, but instead it was another performance. It was another performance space. I think that that was something that people had an issue with because it's like nothing is safe, nothing is sac sacred anymore. Like you can't just go to a game without feeling like somebody's trying to push a political agenda into your face. Saying that you you know there isn't a space where it should be sequestered so to speak but I feel like at the same time it was the game and I feel like you were sitting on your ass so only people would have been able to see you if you were standing or walking away no one knew she had that outfit on until she stood up and it's like even with the whole rooting for body positivity, I've also heard this argument of people saying like Lizzo is making a bad impression or she's she's a bad example for young women in the sound of third. I feel like people have, a lot of people, not saying that Lizzo has done it, but I feel like I've seen a lot of people, especially that are plus size or larger, abuse the body positivity movement. As someone that has lost a decent amount of weight and I'm not body shaming anyone, I remember when I was heavier that I would tell myself things about my body to make myself feel better. I would tell myself things, I would make myself feel a certain type of way, completely ignoring the fact that yes, I can be body positive. <clears throat> that did not mean, nor did that negate that I was not being healthy. And for me, I take body positivity as a mind, body, soul experience. It's not just you feeling good about what you look like, it's feeling good about how you think about 
what you look like. Feeling good about how you look is the first step, but when you change your mind about how you look, that changes the entire conversation. So I've seen people that are morbidly obese, and I'm just gonna call it for what it is. I've seen people that are morbidly obese sit here and harp on this body positivity movement and feel good and, and to build up confidence about themselves, yet they will not take the extra step to be healthy you want to be positive about a body that you may or may not be in for long and i'm no doctor i'm no medical physician i do not have any kind of diploma or degree that gives me the right to talk about this however i am someone that was almost 400 pounds and after almost being 400 pounds and now being to date under 200 about 198 naturally and i've done it with the help of God, of course. And I've been able to see not only the physical changes that I've gone through, but also the mental changes that I've gone through, especially about body positivity. When I think of body positivity now that I'm smaller, I still have this idea in my mind that I'm a plus size woman, that I'm a big girl. I still wear what is typically considered as a plus size section, size 12 and 14, depending on how the jeans is made, a 1X, a 2X, depending on how the shirt is made. There's a bunch of different things that I still, I sit in that world of being plus size however i feel like stuff like this the, the antic that lizzo pulled i feel like gives a more negative connotation to the plus size body a lot of people are looking at her with disgust a lot of people are saying like oh my gosh how could a woman of her size do something like that and are comparing her to the swovarski i think crystal dress or something crystal dress that rihanna wore a couple of years ago like the whole shebang and she was naked underneath except for a nude underwear and people are comparing and contrasting the two as if they're the same and they're literally not the same First of all, Rihanna went to an event, a whole red carpeted gala where there were paparazzi, there were people asking her questions. There was an entire setup and context to where she was going. Lizzo went to a basketball game. Why did she have her behind out at a basketball game? Also, it was a game where there were kids there and i'm not saying this to be like oh we have to you know police our bodies for the sake of children's innocence but we have to police our bodies for the sake of children's innocence those kids and their parents weren't entirely set up that day before they left the house to mentally prepare themselves nor their children to see a fat black woman's ass on a megatron in front of thousands of people in a stadium we are prepared visually to deal with a to deal with cheerleaders in scantily clad clothing and I'm not giving it a pass I promise you we're just trained to accept that we're trained that in this setting in this context a woman in basically her underwear is appropriate just like on the beach walking around in your underwear is appropriate because that's what everybody does but in a basketball game or an arena or a stadium where you know people wear jeans pants full full covering clothing you know it's just it doesn't fit it just doesn't it, do, it just doesn't it doesn't make sense what's pissing me off about honestly the whole thing is really not even because i am also a lizzo fan like i want people to also understand like as a fan and supporter i appreciate lizzo's platform i appreciate her message i appreciate what she stands for and i love her album like I love because I love you. You feel what I'm saying? However, just because I love the artist doesn't mean that I'm going to excuse your bull. And this was definitely bull. Like, Lizzo, this was out of... This was just a stretch. Like, it was a... Like, you stretched it. Like, there's no other way to put it. Like, you stretched it. Like, this was not a place where Lizzo, the performer, had to be out. This was a place where Lizzo could just sit and watch a fucking game. Excuse me. Like, she could just sit and watch a game. You could have just sat and let everybody else watch a game. We were here to watch the game. We weren't here to see Lizzo. We were here to watch the cheerleaders perform to a Lizzo song. We weren't here for a Lizzo cameo. We weren't here for that. We were here to watch a game and have a good night and instead of allowing everybody else to have that moment Lizzo took it upon herself to make it about herself and that is where I have an issue and that is where I have a real problem with like even in her response you know don't let anybody tell you what not to do and da 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 what is the point of decorum what is the point of morals what is the point of a way things are supposed to be and I get a lot of people are trying to make that into an extremist conversation but I'm saying like when it comes down to just having a certain level of class there's a certain way to do things 
and you and there is a certain level of allowing people to tell you what to do and what not to do because there's protection of others at stake here there's the influence of others at stake here and again like i said this wasn't a situation where people were going to pay to see lizzo naked on a stage this isn't a situation where people were paying to see her do what she does this isn't where people were paying to see lizzo be lizzo they were going to a game Back to the body positivity comment though, I strongly just believe that when you're positive about your body, when you think positively about your body, you make better decisions about your body. You make better decisions about what you put into your body. You make better decisions about what you put on your body. You know, if rather than you sitting here trying to say, oh, I'm beautiful and I miss that and a third and still fit into a dress that's two sizes too small, how about you say, I'm beautiful, this, that, and a third, and you put on an outfit that actually flatters you, that fits you, that works for you. This is men and women. Rather than you sitting here saying, I'm fly, I'm this, I'm that. Okay, you can be all that, but why not just wear something that actually fits your size or lose the weight that you're meant to so it fits you or make it yourself in the size that is appropriate i've seen people and i'm not just saying this like on a like outlandish national scale i'm saying this at my communal level i've seen people in my community that are plus size that are morbidly obese that including myself okay that do not wear clothes that fit you the way you're supposed to and then you go down this cycle of comparing yourself to how you don't look like the next girl you don't look like the girl that is on the mannequin or you don't look like the girl that was you know the picture and it's just like but that dress wasn't meant to fit you the way it fits her it was meant to fit her the way it fits her i just don't like when people especially like lizzo when she said like this, like it, it just sounded like you're trying to hijack the body positivity movement and on that i can't stand nor can i support it and i have a real issue with that like i said unpopular opinion that's really all i have for you guys today drop down in the comments and let me know what you guys think of this video what do you guys think of lizzo's antics do you think that it was her being lizzo and this was a space where she could show you know you can be yourself anywhere anyway and people just have to accept you as it is or was this like lizzo you could have just wore a regular dress and you could have saved this for maybe another occasion either way i'm curious to find out what you guys think drop down in the comments kiddos i love you i miss you and i'm so sorry i've been gone for so long but hopefully we can get these videos together all right also if you want more content from me also drop it down in the comments of what you would like me to talk about in the future and until next time kiddos this is <laughs>